So I'm going to show you how to create big bouncy curls, or as I like to call it, how to fake a round brush blowout. Um, this is a great, super quick method. Sometimes really good on day old hair too, good way to refresh. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take a section on the top and it's gonna go from one recession point to the next recession point. And I'm just gonna clip that out of the way. This is where you're gonna get all of your volume. Okay. Then I'm gonna move on to the other sections. What I'm gonna do with all of these sections, I'm gonna lift them up top to the part line. So all around this section that I just created, all the hair will be lifted to that point. Um, and what you want to do is, you want to take a brush and just brush them up. Then you're going to take a curling iron. And this is probably a, a one, one and a quarter inch curling iron. And you're going to really focus in on those roots. That's where you're going to get all of your lift. And then a great thing to keep in mind when you're using a curling iron is you always want to heat up the roots first. And then you want to just kind of work your way down to the tips. So what I'm going to actually do is now that the curl is warm enough, it's wrapped all the way through to the ends, I'm just going to slide it off. So I'm going to open up my curl curling iron. Sometimes you have to bounce it up and down until you get it out. And I'm just going to slide it right out. So now I've slid it out, and I'm going to take this, this is a double bill clip, and I'm just going to slide it in there, all the way up. And then I'm going to continue doing this all the way around. Another cheat for this is, you're not going to get much body out of the very bottom of the hair, so you can just, if you want to leave that out, you can, and just curl it normal. Okay, so I just finished the top half, and I'll spin around so you can see. I just over-directed all of the sections up to that very top part line on all of them. Slid it out of the curling iron and then pinned it. Now you're going to let this cool. I actually did two sections here on the side. So I did two sections here, two in the back, and then one on the side. I also took the liberty, because I want our hair to still look really long, all this part is a part that you're not going to get any volume from, so I just gave two simple curls with a curling iron just to kind of put a little movement at the end. Now I'm going to move along to the section that we left out. I'm going to start in the front, and we're going to be basically doing the same thing that we already did with everything else. For this first section though, I want to get a little swoop over her forehead, so I'm actually going to direct it a little lower than I have the rest, and again, the you want to wrap the hair around to start and really heat up that root before you get started. Because remember, we're trying, to, we're trying to fake a round brush blowout here. So we're trying to fake volume with lift at the roots. So it's really important. You can't forget your lift at the roots. Then I'm just going to continue curling down until I'm at the very tips of the hair. Then I'm actually going to use a larger duck clip to clip it into place. And then I'm just going to continue doing that through this whole top section. So as you can see, I just finished up this middle section here. I only needed three sections of hair to do it. The trick to this is you're adding more hair in to a bigger space. So this is super fast to do at home. We have seven curls that have been pinned. So now that it's finally cool, I would definitely let this cool all the way till the end. Maybe put your makeup on first. I'm going to start taking them down. Whenever you let any kind of curl cool completely, you always get a more a longer lasting look and it's always going to be a little bit bouncier. So that's kind of the intent of this whole thing. So now that I've done that, I'm just gonna tossle through, rake it through with my hand. But you can see it gave us so much lift at the root that we wouldn't have had before. <laughs> Remember, don't be afraid to take too much of the texture out because you let it cool completely and that's the key. Remember, you're going to get a longer lasting curl because you let it cool. So now that I've got it almost all the way brushed out, I'm going to take a little nourishing serum. This one's called Actives and 
rub it into my hands. And I'll have you tilt your head back. And we're just gonna run it all the way through. Polishing as we go. Then when we get to the front, because we did this top section and we did it recession to recession, we have a little bit of wiggle room so we can choose then which side we want it to go to. I curled it with the intent to go this way. And actually it looks really pretty. But if you wanted to get a little bit more volume, you could absolutely pop it the other way and you would get a little bit more boost at the root. So it just depends on what look you're going for. And you could put a little spray on this if you needed to, but really it doesn't need it because it's been allowed to cool fully. So this is my tutorial for how to do big curls or how to fake a round brush blowout.